Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I have two golden retrievers. I have one of them with me right now, Jax. Say hi. Jax, you wanna go? You wanna go? So, if you guys follow me over on my Instagram, you probably saw and I posted on my story that I've been trying to train Jax up a bit. Um, Jax is three and a, oh shoot, he'll actually be four this month on the 16th. Um, so he is trained to an extent. Um, when we were in Florida, we didn't really have a ton of like parks and stuff that we could take him to. So he wasn't really like, it wasn't easy to expose him to like other dogs and stuff besides at the dog park. And the dog park is just kind of like a lot for him. Um, he has a problem with being reactive towards other dogs. And I don't think it's because he's aggressive. I think he just gets excited and he doesn't know how to like, I don't know, explain that. And he'll like kind of like bark and growl a ton but again he's not being mean like his ta his tail is still wagging and everything so now that I'm in North Carolina there's a ton of parks and a ton of like areas to like expose him to other dogs that aren't at the dog park so right now I'm at a park that's close to my dad's house and there is a dog park here but um there's like a huge like walking trail huge field and everything um where there's like dogs that people are walking around and stuff so he can see them from a distance so I'm just kind of like exposing him slowly um and then you know eventually once I feel like he's trained up I will put him in the dog park and see how he does probably on the leash first and then just kind of like ease him into it um I don't have Daisy with me because she does really well she's like very she's the sweetest dog ever she doesn't need this kind of training she could use some on leash training but as far as like pulling and stuff but she's a really good dog um but Jax on the other hand he is fixed and everything um so right now I'm just trying to get him to heal very well on the leash and not pull and stuff like that he's not terrible on the leash as it is but he does pull to like pee on things or sniff and if he sees another dog like literally forget about it he doesn't listen to you at all so i'm trying to get him to be like paying attention to me when he's on the leash and yesterday was the first day so today's the second day i figured i would bring you guys along um, i've been watching like a ton of training videos and stuff like that but disclaimer before i have people come for me i am not a dog trainer let me say that again i am not a dog trainer i train my own dogs because i don't want to spend 300 dollars or even more than that thousands of dollars to pay somebody else to train my dog if I can watch a YouTube video and like try to do it myself so in the event that this doesn't work then maybe I would look into training them but for right now this is what I'm doing but I'm not a professional dog trainer I'm just literally a normal human being that has a dog that acts up and I need to whip him into shape like literally that's it I'm just like you that's watching this video I'm not a dog trainer so don't act like I am. I don't know if what I'm doing is the right way to do it. I know there's mixed opinions. I don't use an e-collar. I probably never will. I don't use a prong collar. Probably never will. Um, I have a, uh, I think it's called like a gentle lead harness on him, which gets tighter as they pull. Um, so it just kind of like feels uncomfortable for them and they realize that they're pulling. Um, so it's not like hurting or anything, but I will link something similar down below. Um, I'm actually borrowing uh, my brother's dogs on him to see how he does. I used the regular harness yesterday and he's still pulled and stuff. So, um, I'm going to try this today and kind of see how it works, but I will take you guys along and I'm probably just going to do a voiceover cause you guys probably won't be able to hear what I'm saying or what I'm doing. Stay. Come. ready all right so right now I'm just in this open field you can see the dog park and stuff is over there um, but I have this gentle leader on him I think that's what it's called I might be calling it totally wrong but basically it gets looser and then it gets tighter as he pulls so and there's like padding under here and everything so it doesn't hurt him or anything like that and then of course I have the treat bag which honestly Drax isn't very interested in treats Yesterday when I was trying to offer them to him, he was literally spitting them out. Here, you want a treat? 
Here, take it. Here. Here, take the treat. Look, here. Jax, here. <laughs> See, he could care less about treats, so sometimes he'll take them. Sometimes he won't. So, I'm going to set up the camera and I'm going to try to train him a little bit right here and then we'll walk around the trail more um, and hopefully there'll be some dogs walking around. All right, so here I'm just starting off with getting Jax ready to kind of start healing and making sure that he knows what we're doing. So as you can see, he's kind of clueless at first, wants to sniff. I just give him some slight pulls on the leash and tell him to heal. And then he falls to my right side. I have Jax healed on my right side for anybody that's curious. And then he kind of starts to pull less and less as time goes on, doing some quick turns inside and outside, making sure that he stays on my right side. And if he falls out of place or anything like that, I just give him a quick tug on the leash and tell him to heal. Now you can kind of see that he's starting to look up at me, which is good. You want him to pay attention to you and not to everything else. So continuing those quick turns inside and he's starting to follow me more without having to pull. After we turn, he does tend to kind of go further away from me than I would like. So I kind of stop and make him aware that I'm in control and he can't just keep going. Right here, I'm trying to stop to make him stay in the heel position instead of going in front of me and standing in front of me. So I just kind of push his body to let him know that this is where you heal, not right in front of me. So, And I do like when he sits whenever I stop just to kind of, I don't know, keep him in place. So we've been working on that. So I'm pretty much just walking around in like any direction that I feel just to make sure that he's staying on my right and he's still healing and everything. And as time goes on, you can see that he's getting progressively better and he's not like sniffing around as much and he's just kind of staying by my side and following my lead. So again, trying to get him to not go ahead of me when I stop and kind of sit. Now I'm gonna drop the leash and kind of see how he does when I just let him drag the leash behind him. Um, at home, usually he'll try to kind of wander off. Um, so I'm hoping that he'll still heal even though I'm not pulling on the leash. So here we go, I told him to heal. He's kind of curious about why he's dragging this behind him. I think it's kind of freaking him out. And then here is where he learns that I'm not pulling him and he stops. So I just grab the leash, pull him back, and let him know that I'm in control again. So I don't know if you guys could really tell in that last clip, but I don't pull him super hard. I just give him like, what I was seeing in other videos and training videos is that you just give him like a quick, quick tug when he's you know, pulling or whatever. He's doing good right now. Good boy. Um, but whenever you need to correct him, you don't need to do like this drastic pull. Um, obviously, unless they're doing really bad, but um, this seems to be working. So let's see how he does walking around this trail. Yep. And with other dogs and stuff, so. So the dog park is right up there on the other side of this trail. So I'm going to kind of work with him before he sees other dogs. Kind of whip him into shape a little bit. Do some turns. Heel. Heel. Good. Heel. 
Good. See, I didn't have to pull him that time. Which is what we want. Heel. 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 He knows it's over there, so. Heel. Good. Good boy. Heel. Good boy. He's kind of scared of this bridge. It's okay. It's okay. Heel. No. Heel to mommy. You're all right. Heel. Heel. Come on. You can do it. Come here. Hey. Come here. Good. <laughs> You're a big old scaredy cat. Yep. Good boy. Yep. Good boy. I'd love to let him in the dog park, but I don't think he's ready yet. We actually haven't really seen any dogs today, so. Heel. Heel. Sit right there. He's pulling a lot. Going towards the dog park. Turn around. Now heel. Heel. Good. See, he's not pulling nearly as much. There's some two pigs over here. Dog, big dogs over here. So I'm gonna let him see them from afar. Heel. He hasn't seen them yet. They're behind us. He saw the dogs and he barked one big loud bark and now he's pulling a ton so I throw his poop away and then get him into shape. All right so we're right here next to the dog park and I'm gonna let him kind of socialize through the fence and see how he does from far. Heel. Good. Heel. I still want him to pay attention to me, not to the dogs. Good boy. Heel. Heel. Good boy. Heel. He's actually doing really well. not healing as well. Yep. Oh. Yep. Uh -uh. Heal. No, heal. 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 Good boy. All right, he did good. He only fell out of the place one time because of another dog. But he's done really well. Huh, good boy. All right, let's go. Yep, yep. Let's go. 
Get up there. Get up there. We are now leaving park and he did really well honestly for getting introduced to like outside of the dog park um so i didn't take him inside the dog park as much as i would love to let him go in the dog park and run around and have a good time i just don't feel like he's ready yet and I know that he, as soon as I let him off the leash, he's gonna start barking and growling and stuff at other dogs. And all the dogs that were in the dog park, no dog was like barking and growling like that. So I don't think that it's acceptable for him to act that way. And that's not, I don't wanna break him. Like I, don't, I wanna him to make sure that he knows exactly how to act and what's okay and what's not. And I don't want him to do that so I think I'm gonna continue to do this outside of the dog park training for a while and just be consistent with it and then um, eventually I will bring him in the dog park on the leash and then we'll work that for a while and then eventually I will let him off so it's probably gonna be a few months before I can actually just let him off the leash in the dog park um, it's just gonna take time and that's part of training a dog I'm sorry if it's super shaky but that's just part of training it's it's gonna take time and especially potty training it's just not gonna happen overnight and sometimes it's really frustrating like I saw a golden retriever in there and I was like man I wish I could just let him off and let him just enjoy being a dog and playing at the dog park but I just can't do that right now with him so um, I'm just gonna put in the time right now because I'm not working right now you know I'm in that transition phase between school ending and working so I have the time to do this which I'm thankful that I have that time um, and this is a beautiful park and the weather's like getting nice like I, honestly I was sweating on my hoodie so um yeah I mean I'm just gonna keep doing that and see how he does today's super nice out so I might go back and get Daisy and bring her to the dog park um, because there was a ton of dogs in there and I think that she would really like that and I've kind of been neglecting her um, because I've been working on Jax a lot so I don't think that's fair to her to not be able to go to the dog park just because he wants to act like a dummy <laughs> so but he's super tired and that's all that matters he ha I, I still think he had a good time even though I was training him so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little training video I don't know if I'm gonna end it here or what I have to see how much I filmed I might add another day of training in so if so um, I'll see you in the next clip or thanks for watching <laughs>